Hello and welcome back to Growler Model Painting. Uh, today is just a paint tutorial on how to paint Wood Elves Glade Guard. So I'm just going to go for the paints first so you'll know which ones you need. Um, you're going to need a range of browns, starting with Scorch Brown, which in the new paints is Rhinox Hide. You're going to need Bestial Brown, which in the new paints is Mournfang Brown. Snake Bite Leather, which in the new paints is Bala Brown. Narlock Green, which in the new paints is Lauren Forest. Gretchen Green, which in the new paints is Death World Forest. Devil and Mud, which in the new paints is Agrax Earthshade. Talon Flesh, which in the new paints is Cadian Flesh Tone. Dwarf Flesh, which in the new paints is Rat Skin Flesh. Bleach Bone, which in the new paints is Usher Bitty Bone. Come to the end. Burnish Gold, which in the new paints is Auric Armor Gold. Dwarf Bronze, which in the new paints is um, Hashard Copper. And we're going to be using a Waywatcher Green Glaze from the new paint range as well. So for the first step, we're going to start base coating the model. Um, I'm going to use a Citadel base coat brush for this. And I'm going to start with the Scorch Brown or Rhinox Hide, depending on which range you're using. Um, you want a little bit of water on your brush, just to thin the paint out a little bit, because uh, they tend to be quite thick. Um, take some on your brush, and we're going to go for areas like any of the leathery leather armour, like this. And we'll cover the whole model in this, just as a base coat any leather sections let's get some more on the brush here uh, it should cover really nicely um, so we just paint areas like this uh, we're going to go for all the legs up here we're going to go for the hood the leathery armour on the arms and stuff like that and then I'll be back in a second when I've done all that. Alright, so I've just finished base coating the model in Scorch Brown on the leathery area. So now I'm going to go with another base coat with the same base coat brush. Um, and it's going to be Narlock Green. Um, new paint, it's called Lauren Forest. So I'm just going to base coat some areas of this. This is a um, foundation paint, so make sure your brush is moist. And take a bit of the paint and put it on your palette. This is really handy and you can just keep going back and forward to the, mo the palette from the model. Um, so we're painting the cape areas like this. And we're also painting this cloth area down here. I've just chosen these areas for green. Really it's 100% it's your choice. Um, obviously what else using natural colours like browns and greens um, so you can just choose where you're going to put these colours so I'm just going to do the cape, some cloth and bits of armour up there so I'll just come back when I've finished doing that ok so I've just finished the green I'll just give you a little uh, 360 view of what I've done there um, so next colour we're going to want to use is the talent flesh which is Cadian flesh tone and the new paints and we're going to use it just basically to cover any um, skin area so I'm going to drop down with a smaller brush this is a Citadel standard brush uh, just because it's a smaller area to work in uh, you're going to want water on your brush again because it is a base coat paint uh, use your palette again so it's easier to switch over back and forth and then we're just going to apply Paint on the face. And anywhere where there's flesh. So we're gonna want some paint on the air, the hands. I've left these arm areas um to be painted to leave some bare skin there. And I've also left the hands 
So we'll do some bed skin on the hand there as well. So once this section's base coated, we're ready to move on. Alright, so I've just painted all the flesh areas on the model with talent flesh or Cadian flesh tone. And I've also used it on the lighter pieces of wood on the ends of the bow. And now it's a really small step, just going to go with some dwarf bronze or hashed bronze, um, hashed copper, sorry, if you're using the new paints. I'm just going to use the base coat and brush. Um, and we'll just apply this paint to the ends of the bow here. Um, just to give the model some metallic um, on the weapon and we'll just just these two tips of the bow and then we're ready to start washing so now we're ready to move on to washers I'm going to use a Citadel wash brush uh, really nice for picking up plenty of wash onto the model um, so I'm going to use some Devil and Mud or Agrax Illustrated if you're using the new paints and I'm just going to apply this paint all over so we're washing all the green areas all the brown areas the skin tone and the metal bits here just we're going to fully coat the model in this wash so be very liberal and don't worry about putting too much on because it's very hard to put too much wash on so just keep going back to your pot you can take this straight out of the pot, it doesn't need watering down at all. Um, I never do anyway. Um, get it right in the recesses of the model, just keep aiming for all them recesses. And what we're aiming to do is darken the, the tone of the, all the colours. So when we use the, the next colours, um, we've got really nice contrast. So we're covering all these areas, I'll just show you the face. Oh, we've got a bit much on there. I'll just do the face. And I'll just come back when we finish this section. Okay, so now we're ready to move on and um, get the exciting bits. Uh, upon reflection on the model, I've realised I should have told you to use Goblin Green, not Gretchen Green at the beginning of the video. So if you're um, using Goblin Green with the new paints, it's called Warboss Green now and it's a much better paint for going over this collector so let's um, do that now so to paint this on I'm going to use um, a detail brush uh, you don't have to use a detail brush it's just that I like to uh, use the thinner brushes for such painting as this so get a nice amount in your brush get it on your palette and then we're going to move on to the uh, actual paint of this model so what you want to do is you want to pick out higher areas, not the highest, so I can go all the way up this fold here with the goblin green. But I wanna what I wanna also do is I hope you can see that you can um pick out these areas like here. Just wanna paint that in there like that. So you're just doing all these nice areas where you've done your green um, you, it's technically a highlight but I would call it more of a, a layer so what you're doing is yeah, yeah, giving it a nice light that colour but you're not just picking out the edges you're actually painting most of the high areas of the model so a good place to show you would be um, this cape on the back here so for doing this I'm going to use um, a medium size brush so the Citadel medium brush and um, we'll get a bit of paint on the brush, a bit of water and we can apply this to the cape but this time what we want to do is we just want to apply it most areas and we just want to avoid the recesses so um, this is a layer not a highlight so I'll just show you on here You can work on this as long as you want to get it looking nice and smooth. Blend the colours together, uh, use a bit of water, and I'll be back when this is finished. Alright, so I've just finished painting all the green on the model. A uh, good example of the Scarlet Cape. Um, so now we can move on to the 
brown sections and do the same process. So for this we're going to use bestial brown or more fan brown in the new paints and we're going to do the same, we're going to use the same technique, we're going to use the same standard brush um, and we're just going to do this on the, the all the brown leathery areas on the model um, so this beautiful brown, it's quite a thin paint uh, so we can just take it straight from the pot and we can uh, apply the paint straight onto the model and layer it over so like I said before with the green same technique you just lay on it over these areas uh, with your standard brush and all, what, all, all you're doing is um, just creating nice layers of different colours over the uh, previous ones so I'll just show you on this piece of cloth here see I've left a bit of the previous brown colour just in the recess and you've got your new brown there so you're going to do this all over the model all over the uh, leathery parts until you've got a really nice um, contrast like that there right so I've just finished all the bestial brown and the leather armour that's what it should look like um, I'm hoping you can see a nice little close up there um, so I've just went over the main areas but now we're going to do a first highlight on the skin um, so for that we're going to use some dwarf flesh or if you're using the new paints the dwarf flesh has been renamed to rat skin flesh so we're going to use the exact same technique as what I've shown you on the green and on the brown we're going to use a, a detail brush and we're going to get some more dwarf flesh and do the same idea on skin area so a good place to show you would be on the fingers here so we're just going down the finger avoiding the recesses with the dwarf flesh um, we'll also do the same thing on the face so the best way to do this would be to go down the nose and pick out the cheekbones and the chin all them little areas on the face um, so once I've finished this little section um, be back right so now um, the skin areas have been highlighted we're going to go ahead and use some burnished gold which is also auric armor gold in the new paints and this is just a really quick little highlight um, on the bronze sections we did earlier so on these small little sections here we'll do this colour just to give it a nice little highlight, a little bit of definition Um, and then we can come on to the light art areas of the bow here yeah. and on these areas we're going to use some bleach bone which in the new paints is um, it's called Usha Bitty bone I think um, so same idea as what we've been doing you're just layering it over the previous colour so I'll just show you on this section here a nice layer, now if it looks too strong just wipe it off, you see that kind of effect it gives there that's the same effect as a dry brush would give and then you can put smaller highlights in like that. and that's the kind of effect you want on that wood there ok so we're moving on to the final highlight stage so the first final highlight you're going to use your Gretchen Green from before um, which is Deathwood Forest I think in the new paints and this is just going to be a very subtle final highlight along the edges of all the green areas as this is a really quite light green um, so we'll use it along edges like this just to give it that final little hint of extra colour and we'll um, use it on the very edges of cloth 
like this just to bring out a little spark in the green um, so I'll come back when it's finished all right so I've just finished the uh, the fine highlight on the green there and uh, that's roughly what it should look like uh, very roughly yours may look different um, so now we're going to move on to the final highlight of the uh, the leathery areas so for that we're going to use some snake bite leather which in the new paint is bar brown and these, this is the same idea you're going to use really fine highlights same as the last green one we did um, and it's just going to be around the edges of the uh, armor area so like this this bit here I just pick up the, the very edge of the armor like so and you'll do this all the way around the armor areas all over the model uh, the hood especially you just go around the hood like that just to give it a really nice kind of final highlight um, so hope you get an idea for it and we'll be back in a second so I've just finished the final highlight on all the leather sections there so hopefully you can see that on the camera um, I'll just spin it around so you can see a whole view of the model um, all the areas I've highlighted with it so now we're ready for our finishing touches and the la one of the finishing touches is highlighting the flesh areas so for this we're going to use some bleach bone or if you're using the new paints it's we should be deep bone. Um, so this is a really quick little section, it's very little highlighting to do. Um, it's just for the skin areas, so knuckles and areas like that. It's just to give them a final little um, kind of spark to them so they stand out a little bit more. Uh, I'll show you on the other hand on the fingers down there. So you're just trying to aim to get the um, the knuckles and fingers areas so just to give them a final little highlight just for the stand out a little bit more um, so join us back for the last finishing step okay so the model's practically finished uh, this step's just an optional step uh, it's the way watch I green glaze so I like to make the, the green a bit more vibrant make a bit more contrast in there so with this I use the um, Citadel wash brush again and I just get an amount of the uh, the glaze and I just put it all over the uh, the green areas to give a nice kind of vibrant green effect um, I, I just prefer it I just think it's a much nicer colour green now that you've used the glaze uh, so I'll show you on the cape here yeah, so it just gives you a really nice contrast and definition um, on the model makes it a much bolder and nicer green colour um, so we'll throw up a few pictures um, at the end of the video just so you can get a, a real good look at all the areas of the model that you haven't seen so far and um, good luck with your painting and uh, I hope it all goes well